Alrighty, I got some new kits in, well a couple, and I'm uh, going to put one together today. This one is, I believe, a function generator, and you can see it's from a Drock. This is from Amazon, by the way. You get tired of waiting six weeks for stuff to come from China. Even though I know this came from China, but it was been sitting in a American warehouse for a while. Which is why it costs a couple of dollars more than the comparable Chinese kit. And believe me, there's a comparable Chinese kit. These things are all over the internet. This is, uh, like I said, a function generator. And it's using the XR2206. I see. Drocking.com. Never saw that before. We would much rather leave you smiling. Well, alrighty. Oh. So. Not so much a kit, is it? This bad boy looks like it's pretty much put together. No soldering required. Which is a shame because, frankly, I love to solder. Hmm. Well, I'm going to peel the plastic off here and put the case together. Then we'll have a look at this. Be right back. Alrighty, I got all the paper peeled and I forgot the time how long it took, but it took three songs. It took uh, Rock and Roll All Night by Kiss, Tuesday's Gone by Skinner, and Bronny R. Stomp by Led Zeppelin to get it done. So anyway, here's the board. Let's uh, take a closer look at it and what's going on with it. So we've got the main processor here. That is the XR2206 by XR Corporation. And we've got three pots here. Coarse, fine amplitude. It's got five multi-layer ceramic dip capacitors, two electrolytics, a uh, DC barrel jack for power input, and one of these um, three gang terminal strips for output. Now one thing that's kind of nice here is they've laser etched the top case. So that's pretty sweet. All right, let's see about putting this together. Now I did a little bit of reading up on this before I ordered it and I found that the case bottom bolts like this and that guy goes there this one goes here like this and this one like this then the front and the top so I will put that all together and be right back all right I got the case together you can see here I had to bend that little tiny electrolytic cap over there a bit so that everything fit nicely and tightly but once I did that it went together real nice so there's a couple jumpers the first one allows you to select between a triangle wave and a sine wave for that output 
That would be the tri sign, sign triangle output. And the second jumper allows you to select a variety of ranges. So we are on the 3K to 65 kilohertz. We'll turn the coarse knob all the way down and the fine knob all the way down and let's come up here and take a look at the scope and we're getting what 3.457 kilohertz looking pretty good there um, the waves are very square very little jitter let's turn up the fine knob and that takes us up to 5.091 kilohertz and then we'll turn the course knob all the way up we're still getting very good square waves at 88.818 kilohertz now let's go up to the highest level which is 65 to 1 meg and we're seeing 1.27374 megahertz and if we take a look at the waveform well we've kind of lost any semblance of it being square what we're getting now is a capacitor charge discharge curve let's take this all the way down to the lowest which is 0 to 10 Hertz and it's showing us 17 Hertz pretty good waveform there a little bit of overshoot yeah, if we bring in a measurement I'm putting 12 volts in we're getting 11.2 volts peak to peak and on the square wave input I'm adjusting the amplitude knob nothing happens and that's kind of what I expected that is what I had read about this so let's switch over now to the square wave I mean the sine wave output and we are still there at our 17 Hertz and if we zoom in here and take a look those waveforms are looking a little bit clipped okay the amplitude knob works backwards turning it clockwise decreases the amplitude and counterclockwise increases it so I'm about halfway on that knob we're getting 5.4 volts peak to peak decent looking waveform let's try the higher range let's go to the 160 to 3 kilohertz range well we're a little over 3 kilohertz there we're at 4.13 and if we come down with our adjustments here the waveforms are still looking pretty good but we're a little over on the range all in all not too bad though let's switch this over to a triangle well our triangle wave is not looking all that triangular unless I adjust the amplitude down getting about 7 volts peak to peak 
Let me adjust our frequency. At 433 hertz. That's not good. We should be in the kilohertz range. Okay, there we go. 4.13 kilohertz. And that is a pretty good looking triangle wave. So there we are back to the kit itself. And all in all, you know, not too bad, not too bad at all. Let me unhook this here. And we'll zoom out a little bit. So the kit is maybe three inches long, two inches wide, three quarter of an inch high. Those screws are barely long enough to get, you know, a thread in there to hold it. But it does, everything is held nice and tight. Again, this is one from Amazon, made by Drock, and there will be a link to it down below. So if you like this, please give me the old thumbs up, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe.